Hello, it's Farah from Faraway Astrology and Tarot. So today I was inspired to um, talk about some infamous people in history and also the dignitary uh, detriment, um, exaltation and fall in astrology. You can see what's going on over here. Um, so what I wanted to do was do some comparison of some infamous people in history. Um, mostly so uh, Nixon, um, Saddam Hussein, Hitler, Trump, Stalin. So there's five of pe five people. One, two, three, four, five. Now, um, I know that this is controversial. Um, and, but yeah, here I am making the video anyway. Um, I just, I think that, um, all of these people have been their, uh, signature on history has been, um, something that has been, um, well, uh, for lack of a better word, infamous. So what I thought I would do, and again, I am trying to do this as objectively as possible, right? So I was curious at looking at uh, certain things about them. Um, now, with granted, with astrology, you, a person can go an astrologer can just go deeper and deeper and deeper and find more and more um, meanings, kind of like the tarot, you know what I mean? So um, one, there's two things that before I talk about the dignitary, the detriment, the exaltation in the fall, um, I want to talk about uh, zero degrees and 29 degrees, or roughly about. So it could be one degree, two degree, three degree, four, what, anywhere from zero to five, you know, a similar for 29 and below. So with at zero degree, it's, um, it's some, and you can look at your own birth chart. Um, of course, I looked at my birth chart to see what was going on there. Um, when somebody had, and I have my birth chart up on, on my YouTube stuff, it's, further back. You can find it if you want to, but um, at zero degrees, this is where somebody is just learning something new. It, it's something that they are just beginning to understand, just beginning to learn, okay? And so the opposite is, or one, two, three, four, five degrees. Some, it can vary. Some people will say like up to five degrees, or some people can say up to 10 degrees. Some people say three degrees, whatever. Somewhere roundabouts. Um, and then 29 degrees. That's where somebody has, is almost like a master, you know, they, they have a really good, um, handle on that energy, whatever it is. So, and they, they, they have a strong embodiment of that thing. You know what I'm trying to say? So hopefully I'm making sense. I never know if I'm making sense because I'll tell you what, if you don't go back and look at my video on my birth chart, I have Mercury in Pisces, which means I, I feel a little unsure of myself. But anyway, that's, is it is unsure? Is that the right word? Yeah, I feel a little unsure. I feel not quite, uh, anyway, beside the point. Um, uh, and I also have Saturn in, uh, where is it? Saturn in Jupiter? Gemini. Anyway, beside the point. Um, but point being is my Saturn is like 28 degrees. Uh, and I think, I think that's obviously why I put a lot of restrictions on myself. So, neither here nor there. Let's just move on because I don't edit. Um, zero degrees. Somebody is just learning how to understand 
this energy. So Nixon has Mercury, thinking, communication. Also, so in other words, it's like, and I'm not even including the uh, signs because, well, I just, I'm not. This is, this is a more so a video to say um, about how we all have certain, um, we all have certain things that we are just beginning to learn and some things that we've mastered and also um, learning more about this, this chart type thing. So Nixon has had, um, you know, struggles with communication, thinking, writing, speaking, also with luck and also with understanding um, uh, chaos or change, plus um, pleasure, right? Or um, uh, pleasure or what's the other thing? Beauty or understanding the finer things in life, right? So um, anybody who's a history buff, you know, you can, you can, um, tell me more about that, about these people, but, um, and Saddam Hussein, he, he is, has Saturn at zero degrees. So Saddam Hussein, you know, S Saturn is, is the one that says you must restrict, you must limit, you must put in the hard work. Right. So in other words, he's trying, he's definitely ha is just at the beginning stage. So zero degrees, you can think of zero degrees as kind of like kindergarten, you know, kind of like a five-year-old just beginning to learn. Whereas 29 degrees is somebody who is like, I don't know, an adult who has had all of the education and all of the life experience. So Hitler has had the part of fortune. Now, part of fortune, remember, that's like luck. And Neptune is is kind of these fantasies, delusions, dreams, um, maybe in, even confusion. And sun is, you know, there's a lot of people that talk about the sun as the ego, the will, you know, that solar plexus. So you can see how this stuff happens. And then the other thing, too, is that Remember, 29 is like something we've mastered, we've become adult, we've gone through all, we've studied, we've got education, we've got life experience. Nixon has Mars. Mars, um, if you don't know, Mars is the god of war. Um, I mean, that's as simple as it gets. Um, and Black Moon Lilith, rebellion. Um you know, I, I'm, I'm going to just put it in as simplest terms as I can, you know, because I just, I just think that's the best way for this scenario. So war and, and rebellion and then power. So where, you know, going back to Nixon, communi thinking and communication, luck, um, uh, change and chaos and, um, pleasure and restriction and limitation and hard work. Again, luck, um, ideas, um, ideals, fantasies, dreams, and the ego, you know, just learning, learning about that. And I, so I, I think that Nixon, you can see, um, definitely had, when when something's at zero degrees, it's it's a struggle, you know. Struggle with finding having good luck. Struggle with change in life. Struggle with thinking. Um, Hussein struggling with restriction and limitation and hard work. And Hitler struggling with luck and and you know the uh, dreams and fantasies and his ego. And all of these, all of these aspects have um, a positive, like a, a, a more evolved point of view, or um, a unevolved point of view. And and it is our responsibility to go from the unevolved to the immature to the mature point of view. And just because you have 
something in your birth chart does not mean you have to fall you have to um play to the to the lowest common denominator um meaning like you don't just because you have something in your birth chart does not mean you have to play the part of of the stereotype to play the part of of um the unevolved point of view if that makes sense um you you get what i'm saying anyway so nixon here with war um aggression and and rebellion and power so we can see that and trump part of fortune luck so he's had very good luck and mind you we all i don't know who isn't familiar what's going on with trump right now but you know this is just something that he just happens to have in his birth chart what the what the uh transits are doing in other words where the planets are in the sky right now are obviously affecting all of us in a certain way. You get what I'm saying. I misspelled Hussein again. Okay. Um, Hussein, he has a uh, rebellion and Venus for Stalin, meaning pleasure. So um, I think, I think that's interesting because these are, um, which planets here are not being represented? The moon, you know, connecting to your feelings. Um, what else is not? Uh, yeah, that's the only one. Okay, so there's the sun, the moon, Mercury, Venus, Mars, um, Jupiter, Neptune, Pluto. Yeah, so the only one that excuse me, the only one that I see that like is missing, you know, like overall from everybody is, is, uh, the moon connecting to your feelings. Um, oops, sorry. Um, can I put that down? Okay, good. All right. So now let's talk about learning a little bit about what this is. So dignitaries, detriment and exaltation and fall, because when we look at when we look at these things, um, our sun can be in whatever sign it is, right? If it's in a certain sign, then it'll be stronger. If it's in a certain sign, it'll be weaker, okay? Does that make sense? I, I think that makes sense. So down here, if it is, if it is in dignity, then it'll be very powerful, very strong, very happy, very authentic. So it's called the domicile or the dignity. And then directly opposite would be its detriment. So it loses, it has the least amount of strength, it's miserable, it's lost, it's restricted. Okay, then there's a place of exaltation where it feels a sense of awareness. It is strong. It feels welcome. It feels fostered. It, you know, it's helped. Um, and then the opposite would be it's fall. Yeah. Which where it feels awkward, it feels weak, ignored, dismissed, inappropriate. So going back up here, these are the sun, all of these planets rule these signs so the sun rules leo the moon rules cancer mercury rules gemini and virgo hopefully you can see that let me even make it a little bit bigger i don't know um yeah so uh venus venus rules uh libra and taurus mars rules aries jupiter rules sagittarius and pisces saturn Capricorn and Aquarius, and then um, if you if we include the modern planets, Uranus uh, rules Aquarius, Neptune, Pisces, and Pluto rules Capricorn. So uh, these planets are very strong in these, these planets are very strong in these signs, right? And then, so going back here, the opposite so opposite of Leo is Aquarius. 
And so this is where these signs are where the planets feel the weakest. So the sun feels the weakest in Aquarius. You, you can see how Cancer is opposite of Capricorn, right? So um, Aries and Libra are opposite. So sun is, is the weakest in Aquarius. The moon is weakest in Capricorn. Mercury is weakest in Sagittarius and Pisces because Sagittarius is opposite of Gemini. Pisces is opposite of Virgo. Um, Venus is weakest in Aries. Mars is weakest in... Now, why doesn't it also include Scorpio, too? You could. You could include Scorpio. I just don't know why it didn't it, it didn't have it there. But you could, you could put Scorpio over here, too, because Scorpio is opposite of Taurus. So, um, where was I? Mars weakest in Libra. Jupiter is weakest in Gemini and Virgo. Saturn and so on and so on. And I'm just not going to go on because it would just, okay. Anyway, so the, now the other thing is exaltation. Remember, this is where it's welcomed. It's, uh, what are key words do I have here? It's welcomed. It's got a place of awareness. It's, it feels strong. It feels fostered. It's helped. So the sun is helped, welcomed, it feels strong in, in these areas, okay? Maybe not as strong as what it, it's, you know, where its home uh, sign is, or it's, you know, that place is, its dignity, but you, you get what I'm saying. And so then um, fall, it, it's it may not be as weak as the detriment, but it's still... Uh, it doesn't feel comfortable there, you know, it feels awkward, it feels dismissed, it feels inappropriate, it just doesn't feel comfortable, yeah, it doesn't feel comfortable here, so, and you can see what's going on over there, so, um, and so I thought that was interesting as well, because I, I just haven't talked about these these things. And you can screenshot this or you can look this up on the on on Google or whatever. So now the thing is, is Nixon has his exaltation in Venus, which means he's all about the pleasure, you know, and and so maybe not all about the pleasure, but do you know what I mean? Pleasure is a big deal for Nixon, right? Whereas in the detriment, remember the detriment is where is somebody feels, the planet feels very weak, okay? And Trump, he's got Saturn in detriment. Saturn, no, there's not, there's, Saturn isn't working well for Trump. In other words, there isn't any self, restraint. There isn't any self-restriction. There isn't any hard work. There isn't any um, self-limitation there for Trump, right? Um, Saddam Hussein, Venus, doesn't understand pleasure and doesn't, uh, and Neptune can also be a connection to the divine, you know, like um, uh, lost, your head in the clouds kind of thing, you know? So, um, and I was talking about somebody else who, to Hitler, Hitler had this, you know, like, it could be like a delusion, like, um, like a fantasy, right? And so Hitler had that, but he was just learning that about that at zero degrees. And here, um, Saddam Hussein had that in detriment, which means it doesn't, it's weak. In other words, when when these things are in a weaker state, they're going to show up in um in a immature way. Do you know what I mean? They're not going to be mature. Um, we can clearly see that with Trump. We can clearly see that with Hussein. Um, also with Hitler, Moon, his feelings and self restraint, self limitations. Um, um, hard work, these types of things. So there was this weakness there. This, um, it does, it, it's almost like, what is there was something else here too? Um, Saturn, Neptune, yeah. 
Um, so, okay. What else? Oh, the fall. Um, yeah, so I don't, I don't think, I don't think Hitler was in touch with his feelings at all. I don't think he had any self-restraint either. And Hussein, I think he was, he didn't understand um, the simple pleasures in life. And I don't think he understood um, connection to like, um, uh, the ideals of, you know, sometimes Neptune could be connection to divinity too. So, but, you know, we have to be careful when we think about connection to divinity because, um, we could be confused on, on, we may, we may think we're connected to divinity, but we may not really be, do you know what I mean? So, it's like keeping your feet on the ground and your head in the sky kind of thing. You, but you still got to keep your feet on the ground, so to speak. And then um, fall. Remember, fall is where somebody is. Um, it's kind. It just. It feels awkward. You know. It does. It just doesn't feel comfortable. So Nixon had Jupiter, and so he had issues around luck. And um, Pluto had issue has issues around um, power. Um, I don't think tr Trump really understands understands um, what true power is. You know, if you if you look at um, uh, some of the um, philosophers and the way they talk about power, I don't think I don't think Trump understands. And same way with Nixon, I don't think he understands what true luck is similar with um saddam hussein i don't think he understands what true luck it true true luck is nor um you know self-restraint and discipline i i don't I, th I don't think he wanted discipline nor did he want um any change because these two these things were very uncomfortable you know similar with um um hitler i think the the um luck you know maybe he he had this idea of you know um maybe thinking i don't know like with with jupiter and fall it could be something along the lines of you know never me or i've got or i you know um I, I deserve more, but I'm not getting more kind of, you know, someone would, I've heard someone recently say victim mentality, but something along those lines. But anyway, so rulers, I wrote rules, but it's, it's also that dignity, the dignity, um, uh, where, where it's the strongest, right? And so Nixon's, Nixon's strongest, um, one of his strongest things in his chart was Uranus, change, disruption, chaos, you know, and, and, um, Hitler's was, was pleasure, you know, and so this little tiny little chart right here, if I can, if I can show you, um, this one, can you see it? That one shows, let me see if you can see it. Yeah, you can kind of see it. Okay, so that one is um, how the uh, dignities are or the rulers. So moon rules, moon rules Cancer, sun rules Leo, and then Mercury rules Gemini and uh, Virgo. Uh, what is it? Venus rules Taurus and uh, Libra. Mars rules Aries and Scorpio. Jupiter rules Pisces and Sagittarius. Saturn rules Aquarius and Capricorn. Now, it this doesn't include the um the modern planet. So Pluto goes with uh Pluto goes with uh Scorpio. Uranus goes with Aquarius. And um, Neptune goes with uh, Pisces. So um, here's another example. This might be a little bit easier to see, but you can just see it just goes straight across. 
And then this is the um, thing that I was talking before about the, you can call, I mean, it's called a domicile. Oh, sorry. Let's put that down. Can I put the, dang it. All right, let's put that down. Okay, so it's called the domicile or the dignity where it's something is the powerful, strongest, happiest, authentic, um, detriment, least strength, miserable, lost, restricted, exaltation. Remember, these two would be opposite. So, you know, where um, it's just opposite on the, on the wheel, the circle, basically. Um, and in other words, like if the moon is happy here, dignity here, it's going to be detriment here. Um, if the sun is, dig has dignity here, it's going to have detriment here. And then, um, the, uh, exaltation where it just, it's a little bit less than a dignity, um, but it still feels strong. So it still feels welcome. There's still a sense of awareness and, and fall, it feels um, awkward, weak, um, inappropriate, dismissed, ignored, that kind of thing. So um, yeah, I thought that would be interesting. Um, and hopefully you found that interesting as well. All right, take care. Bye.